Today's second reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Corinth was a Greek city known for its wealth and for its immorality, including prostitution. Knowing the Corinthians' background, Paul still calls them to holiness. He writes, You who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus called to be holy. Paul emphasizes the universal call to holiness of all people regardless of their background by calling all the baptized saints. For example, in his letter to the Ephesians, he encourages Christians in Ephesus to live as is fitting among saints. Similarly, he refers to Christians living in Jerusalem as saints. The total number of times Paul refers to his letters to Christians as saints is over 30 times, comments Petrie. Paul's calling the baptized, Christians, saints may be confusing to some of us since we typically associate the term saint with someone who has died and has been officially recognized by the church as a saint in heaven. Both ways of defining a saint are correct. Referring to those who are baptized as saints as holy is correct since by our baptisms we have been sanctified in Christ and are to allow heaven to shine through us. We are no longer to be walls that do not lead people or direct people to anyone else but us. Rather, by our baptism, we are called to be windows into heaven. By our baptism, we are called, like St. John the Baptist, to direct people as guides to Jesus, to God. The saints, the holy on earth, are different from the saints in heaven in that while on earth we can lose our holiness, we can fail to live up to the gifts of our baptisms. The saints in heaven are our heavenly friends who want to help us to live up to the great gift of our baptism. They will help us if we reach out to them in prayer. A way recommended by Petrie to determine how well we understand the relationship between our baptism, heaven, and sanctity is by asking the question, who wants to go to heaven? If we were asked the question, it is likely that all of us would immediately respond with, I want to go to heaven. However, if we are asked the question, who wants to be a saint? It is likely that fewer or even very few people would immediately respond with, I want to be a saint. And yet, the two questions are equivalent. They're the same questions. The two questions are dealing with the exact same reality. To go to heaven, so to speak, we must be saints. We must be holy. Today, may we identify with the Christians living in Corinth, who are living in a very sinful city and who had likely engaged at some point in sinful activity. These Christians can give us confidence that despite our past, despite whatever sins we may have committed or even perhaps still are committing, God is still calling us to holiness, to sanctity, and with God's grace this sanctity is possible. Lord Jesus, we come to you as sinful but repentant, and like the Corinthians, ask for your help to heal and sanctify us today. May God bless you.